today is uh, November 22nd of 2015. I am documenting this that the uh, Social Security Administration offices employees uh, are trafficking with uh, citizens' identities and social security numbers, and they are selling the uh, citizens' identities and social security numbers to illegal aliens mafia members across the country. With these social security, social security numbers and identities, they sell also the government benefits of the citizens, which has uh, left uh, millions of citizens without uh, anything to eat, uh, any uh, shelter and any medical attention since they sell the um, identity with the uh, medical insurances of the citizens that are victims of the illegal aliens mafia member members uh, this is um, particularly known to uh, Beatrice this man she's the boss of all the social security um, administration commissioners around the country. She knows this and she has the evidence to stop this, but she doesn't do so. Uh, also, the Inspector General's Office and the uh, Department of Justice knows about this, but uh, nothing is done regarding this trafficking of government benefits and citizens' identities and social security numbers. Uh, again, they are plotting to do something after they stole and sold uh, Luisa Oyarsun's social security number and identities to different illegal aliens mafia members across, across the country in California, Boston, uh, New Jersey, and other places. As you can see, this is a representative payee form because since Luisa Oyarsun is elderly and chronically ill and has a leaking heart uh, valve, well, two leaking heart valves, multiple sclerosis, osteoporosis, epilepsy, and other physical illnesses, they are tampering with her government benefits and her information, which is confidential, and they do not have any power of attorney signed by her or any form representative uh, form from her signed by her. This is another one of um, her uh, the letters that she has received from the illegal aliens mafia members that. Um, uh, shows that they are trying to uh, tamper with and falsify her information. Uh, I am her representative employee, Solange Martinez, as you can see here. And uh, this uh, form reads, uh, Hello, this is Luisa Oyarsun. Uh, I am chronically ill, disabled, elderly citizen. Whose, uh, whose social security and identity has been uh, sold and, uh, by employees of the Social Security Administration Office and another illegal aliens mafia member, Kevin McGuire. This is how they, they threatened and practiced extortion on me uh, and my representative uh, payee, Solange Martinez. He continues to read here, um, every time and illegal aliens, uh, every time the illegal aliens uh, have, the illegal aliens who have my identity need a paper signed by me or uh, my representative employee, they threatened us with uh, deleting my government benefits or documents uh, if we don't do what they, are, uh, what they say. It is. It says here, uh, threatening with deleting my representative uh, payee, Solange Martinez. So if they delete this, um, they can uh, speak directly with Luisa Oyarsun. They can antagonize her over the phone or in person. And they can also um, kill her because they know that if they antagonize this epileptic disabled citizen, they can cause a brain hemorrhage, an epileptic seizure, a brain hemorrhage and death on her. So they have been trying to kill her for the longest time. Uh, the uh, office of Mr. Obama knows about this, but nothing has been done in the last nine years. The govern governor of uh, New York State knows about this and nothing has been done. They have all the evidence to process these uh, um, government employees for theft, um, abuse of elderly citizen, 
which carries a sentence of four years, and uh, elderly financial abuse, uh, fraud, and identity theft. Nevertheless, they don't do that. Okay, so it reads here, threatening with deleting my representative employee. Uh, if I don't comply and fill out this form, they also charge uh, Ms. Oyarsson full rent in a government subsidized building, okay, which is located at 34 Highland Avenue, apartment 2 Diaz in David, Yonkers, New York. As you can see here in the form, it says, did the, did the beneficiary continue to live alone or with the same person or in the same building? from July 2001 to 2014 to 2015 to June 30th, 2015. If not, please explain and provide the beneficiary current address and in remarks on the back of this form. It says here, when it was filled out, she lives in a building in the above address. Okay, then, she, um, by the way, I should mention that they have tried to move her from this apartment, this address, at all costs uh, in the last uh, few months. And something must be cooking regarding that because they seem to be in a hurry to remove her from this address at all costs. So somebody has been, it seems that somebody has been investigating this and they uh, found something out. So if he, this one reads, um, the amount of money, uh, it says, she tells me how to spend her money and I do it according to what she tells me. I don't spend her money. And here it says, uh, she receives every uh, uh, year about $11,440 uh, and about how much? Uh, of the uh, $12,888 that you spend on other things, uh, social, medical, and dental expenses. Well, she doesn't go to the dentist and her uh, gum are running because her um, the New York State employee, Kevin McGuire, stole and sold her medical insurance, New York State's trade Medicaid, and gave her Medicare Part B, which she doesn't qualify for, but they falsi falsified her records and left her without dental care. Uh, so her teeth and gums are running right now, as uh, well as uh, her dying of cancer. It says here for food and housing about $1,140 is spent. Uh, that leaves about uh, from the $12,888, that leaves about um a thousand dollars in the year and this is the form that they sent her on the back of the form uh, we wrote the social security administration employees are selling the citizens social security numbers to illegal aliens and the illegal aliens uh, mafia members as well as the um the clients as, as well as their clients. When the citizens call to inquire about this, they uh, hang up, uh, they are hung up upon, or uh, the Social Security Administration employees hang up on them. These criminals take away through this scheme all the government benefits being uh, belonging to the citizens because they are issued through the citizens' Social Security numbers and their demographic information, their address, um, apartment number, etc., which is sold to illegal aliens and illegal uh, illegal aliens mafia members uh, in this country by the Social Security Administration employees as well as the uh, public assistance uh, employees across the country. And. Uh, Beatrice Disman, the Social Security, Social Security Administration Office um, Commissioner, who is the boss of all the commissioners 
of uh, the Social Security Administration offices across this, the country knows about this, and nothing has been done to stop this trafficking of government benefits and citizens' identities. The form is signed uh, and dated on August 31st, 2015. Uh, suddenly, we received another form uh, which asks for more information. This is the form that we received uh, from the uh, Social Security Administration offices. And this one, after we sent this one on, um, what was the date? Let me see. On August 2030, 2015, August 31st, we received another form by the um, illegal aliens mafia members and government, uh, illegal aliens mafia members and traffickers of government benefits and citizens' identities. Um, from the same uh, place that Luisa Oyarsun's documents uh, are being falsified. And uh, she's being given Medicare Part B as in boy uh, when they know that her Medicare doesn't cover her medical needs, uh, dental and um, specialized uh, doctors uh, visits or uh, treatments. That's why she's dying of cancer. Uh, this one is uh, Northern, Northeastern Program Service uh, Center, Jamaica, One Jamaican Center Plaza, Jamaica, New York, 11432. This, this one is dated November 15, 2015. So we sent the information on August of 2015. On November, four months later, they sent her this letter, this letter and it reads, we need the information listed below in correction in connection with the representative pay counting form covering the benefits you received for Luisa Oyarsson during the period of July 1st, 2014 to June 30th, 2015. If I'm not mistaken, uh, it's the same period that uh, we filled out uh, June, July 1st, 2014 to, July, to June 30th, 2015. So you know that they are plotting something and they are uh, running a scheme because they they are saying that I received the benefits and uh, they don't know that Luisa Oyarsson is the one that tells me what to do with her benefits. Uh, so you know that they're plotting something. Uh, it seems that somebody has been investigating this and they need to do some more falsification of records. This letter reads, uh, we need the information listed below in connection with the representative pay accounting form covering the, peer, the benefits you received. I didn't receive these benefits. Luisa Oyarsson received these benefits as uh, they know very well because uh, the benefits go electronically into Luisa Oyarsson's bank account, not mine. And he continues to read during the period of July 1st, 2014 to June 30th, 2015. It also reads, please provide uh, the information, sign uh, and date this letter and return it with the enclosed envelope. If you cannot finish furnish this uh, the information, please let us know right away. How can I let them know of anything, of any information? Every time I call, every time Luisa and I, Oyarson and I call the Social Security Administration office and we mentioned her case, they hang up on us. On us. And the governor and Mr. Obama knows about this and the involvement of a lot of Muslim people uh, buying uh, social security numbers and identities of citizens. And the inspector general's office also knows this, as well as um, the representative uh, of New York, state of New York, Senator Stuart uh, Cossing, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, Senator Chuck Schumer, and Representative um, Elliot Ingle. Uh, they all know about this, and uh, despite they having the evidence to prosecute these government employees, federal government employees, for identity theft, uh, elderly financial abuse, and uh, fraud, they do not do so. So I am informing the public regarding this. He continues to read, uh, let me see, where did I leave? Um, 
Oh. We invite you to visit our website at www.socialsecurity.gov uh, uh, on the internet, which which is really also another thing that in it needs to be reported. Every time Luis Ayers and I and I go into her account in the internet, we are blocked. So that means that they blocked her account, so she cannot have. Uh, any access to her account and she cannot change the falsif falsified information in her account. Uh, also uh, illegal. Uh, it says here, uh, if you have any specific questions, call us toll free at 1-800-772-1213 and we know uh, what happens every time we call. We can answer most questions over the phone. If you are deaf or hard, hear, hard of hearing, you may call our TTY number. That's for deaf people. Uh, also, I should say that uh, they were supposed to sell, send Luisa Oyarsun. Um, they were supposed to have Louis, uh, an, a supervisor called Luisa Oyarsun, and when we called the last time, we found out that they also falsified her telephone number, which is 347-721-9255. So when the um, supervisors uh, who are related to the illegal aliens mafia members uh, have to call, they say, oh, I called, but uh, we have the wrong number, which they themselves uh, falsified at the Social Security Administration offices and the government employees who are illegal aliens mafia members are the one who do so. It says here, if you prefer to visit, if you prefer to visit one of our offices, uh, that's good. Please check the local telephone directory. Every time um, they are falsifying documents and the public is being informed, they want the person, even though if the person is homebound, to visit their office, so they can uh, say that the person uh, tried to kill somebody or tried to uh, bomb somebody in the office, uh, which is ridiculous. And they did that with Luisa Oyarsun, and so they can call their the police officers who work as police officers, but are illegal aliens mafia members, and have the uh, victims of um, identity theft and government benefits uh, theft falsely arrested, and their caretakers as well. This also has happened to Luisa Oyarsun, but they have to release uh, us because. Um, after uh, we are in court, they say that they have nothing uh, on on one on us. On one occasion, uh, I was uh, listening to the police officers who are illegal aliens mafia members laughing and saying, "What can we charge uh, Luis uh, Solange Martinez with?" And the other person, the other police officers, which was a female, said, um, "We cannot charge her with anything. We have to uh, fabricate something because." Uh, she is a goody goody person and she doesn't do anything illegal. Uh, and uh, after that, um, they tried to um, have me sign some papers and they threatened me with being gang raped by um, uh, people in jail, uh, men in jail. Uh, they threatened with uh, putting me in um, a men's jail so they can gang rape me if I didn't shut up uh, and continue to report the trafficking of government benefits and citizens' identities by the Social Security um, Office's employees and the Public Assistance Office's employees, which um, our President, Mr. Uh, Obama, knows about and the Governor of the uh, New York State knows about, including the pertinent federal and state agencies, including the Department of Justice of the United States. Uh, it says here, verification form, your responsibilities as a representative of PAE, including being aware of Luisa Oyarsson's current and future needs and making sure that benefits are properly used to meet her needs. Now they want to say, they want to deter, I mean, uh, uh, deviate the, uh, the attention from the government benefits uh, trafficking and social security trafficking by the uh, government employees at the social security no social security offices, and they want to say that I am I have been stealing uh, her benefits, that I have been falsifying her Medicaid and selling it to illegal aliens across the country, and that I have uh, those thousands and thousands of dollars. 
uh, that I have uh, not gotten the her benefits but um, they have the evidence of the uh, USA trafficking uh, USA addresses trafficking they have the evidence of the elderly financial abuse and fraud identity theft also uh, committed against Luisa Oyarsson uh, and nothing has been done so let me continue to read uh, you, you answered no to question 3a uh, on the previous form uh, we gather on the accounting form which asks uh, if you decide how the total benefits were used of course I answer no because Luisa Oyarsson decides how her benefits are used because it, it is uh, they are her benefits not illegal aliens mafia members benefits not illegal aliens mafia members uh, government employees benefits they are her benefits and uh, it says here, please answer the following question. To whom, if anyone, did you turn over the full amount of benefits received? Of course, to Luisa Oyarsson, because they are her benefits. It says here, did you decide how the benefits were used? I already answered that question, and they know that uh, the answer to that question very well. But this is, uh, again, I believe, a scheme, another scheme to try to hide their trafficking of social security numbers and citizens identities and the selling of these identities to illegal aliens mafia members spe specifically uh, Muslims illegal aliens mafia members that come uh, into the country and they need to get around with uh, an identity uh, a driver license and um, money from which they get from the government the USA government to get around and do what they do it says here, I certify that the above information is true to the best of my knowledge. I know that anyone who makes a false statement or representative representation of material fact or use in determining a right uh, to payment under the Social Security Act commits a crime punishable under federal law. Obviously, illegal aliens mafia member who has been killing citizens and stealing their identities for more than 25 years, Kevin McGuire, uh, is immune to this law and the illegal aliens mafia is immune to this law, especially especially is if they are Muslims. Uh, it says here a telephone number, and we write the telephone number on all the forms, the correct telephone numbers, but uh, it seems that uh, a ghost or somebody at the Social Security Administration office suddenly changes the phone number when uh, a supervisor must call Luisa Oyarsson to uh, straighten the information and put the correct information on Luisa Oyarsson's records, not the information that the illegal aliens mafia members enter on her records, federal records. Incidentally, I need to inform you that uh, tampering with federal records such as Medicare uh, and state records uh, such as New York State straight Medicaid and falsifying them is a federal offense. They have also falsified her medical records at all the hospitals that she goes to and every time she goes to a hospital and she has uh, a number of months there going there her medical records disappears and um, they need these medical rec medical records because the illegal aliens mafia members who are using her identity and her social security numbers to defraud the USA government and apply for welfare and government benefits um, must have these records so every time she has uh, uh, maybe two or three inches uh, of uh, medical records um, piled up they they disappear again uh, the government USA government the Department of Justice President, Ma President Obama and the senators of New York State knows uh, know this very well but nothing has been done regarding this and uh, many other millions of citizens uh, uh, situations who are the victims of the illegal aliens mafia members and the government employees who are illegal aliens mafia members thank you for your attention to this matter